so as the Marifer uh, announced, so I'm part of GMR2. GMR2 is a company which is providing some uh, security. I'm going to speak about that. And we are um, a W3C member since two years and a half. And I'm going to tell you a bit about it just to let you understand why my presentation may be different from uh, the previous one. First, I do not code at all. Sorry, I admit that. <laughs> my confession. So um, actually uh, I'm working for a company which is providing some hardware token. Okay, so we provide SIM cards, we provide banking cards, this kind of stuff. Uh, and I'm part of the standardization team since eight years and I've been pushing the uh, W3C membership uh, of Gemato since two years and a half. Uh, so wha what I'm interested in is security, mobile, innovation, smart cards, trusted execution environment. And I'm French, I'm traveling a lot because I'm following the very three activities and I'm sometimes writing. So my best friends, the ones paying me actually, are the mobile network operators, the device makers, the banks, the government, you know, this kind of stuff, people. And I'm also chair of the Web Crypto Working Group and this is what I'm trying to sell you today, that this is a great work which is going on in the very I just landed a few hours ago in Tokyo and I'm bringing you some news from Paris. So the good news is that um, next year there will be some elections. And uh, for sure there will be a woman elected. So this is good for woman equity, power to the woman. <laughs> so the picture that you see here are three different women. They're representing three different parties that, that will uh, run for the election next year. But I wanted to tell you a little story about the one who is called Natalie. Uh, it's not my favorite one, but I mean, the story is fun. Um, so actually, the right party decided to elect their own candidate for uh, the election for the mayor of Paris. So they decided to go for e-voting. That's interesting for the web, I guess. Um, actually, uh, what happened is that a few hours after the vote started, uh, there were some security failures. So, uh, this is kind of problem, you know? And so, I mean, the participation was quite good, like 86%, but the problem is that it was just a scandal. People said the false uh, votes happen, this kind of stuff, you know? And actually, if we make a post-mortem of what happened, is that uh, the user experience was a pain, actually. You had to visit the site, load a plugin, so you know, <laughs> That's for security, right? enter, name, date of birth, phone number, and pay, because it was a paid uh, action, you had to give three euros to vote, um, and you had to pay with a credit card, okay? So, well, user experience, so, so. Now, security, so bad. I mean, the, the security failure was so, so obvious. You could get all the information from the social networks of the voters, okay? So, actually, you could fake the identity. The same person could vote several times, and there was no risk management at all. Okay, so, I'm just trying to... Um, sell my work here because <laughs> cryptography may have helped here. So actually, security, if you want to implement security, it's very simple things. You need to perform or to design your application and have specific operations like uh, I want to be able to identify my user, I want to be able to authenticate the device, I want to protect the exchanges, the messages, I want to make sure they are not modified, and this is what we call the cryptographic operations, actually. Okay, so you take something, you use mathematics, and you make it more secure. So, this has to be made at the service design. You can, cannot make this, you know, like, uh, okay, let's put a bit of security. Does it work? So, and I think that something also that happened is that you had to download a plugin in order to get access to security features in this special e-voting store. And this is where we need a standard and robust cryptographic API to avoid this uh, load of plugins. So, who 
who are the people who may agree with me, with what I said, those people are the um, uh, contributors to the Web Crypto Working Group. So there are quite a lot of people. So every two months day at night, I mean at night because I'm in Europe, so at 22 o'clock in my kitchen, I'm working with those guys. So you can spy us, there is a link here. And what we are trying to define is what would be the most uh, usable API with the best algorithm uh, to be used by the, the web developers. So we work on use cases. So actually we try to extend, explain the very three management, what we are trying to reach. Um, we are working on the, on the actual web crypto API. So if you use this web crypto API, you will be able to generate random numbers. You will be able to generate keys and to use them to sign, to cipher with the usual stuff. And once you have created a key, you may have uh, to use it later. And this is why we are also working on a web crypto key discovery API. Like, I want to retrieve all the keys that were created with this origin. And what we are also trying to do, but this is not yet done, we are trying to uh, build some high-level services because the API today is really dedicated to people knowing exactly what they want to do in terms of cryptography, like you know, more crypto path experts. You know. So the use cases which are driving us are uh, banking transaction, file synchronization, code signing, content protection. It is not the RM. And actually, we will ask to the future mayor of Paris to give us some hints about the EVO team. So, uh, seriously, what are we doing? So, we are not only building a spec, actually. There is one prolific you can play with, with which has been built by DBN. It's a, there is a, a link here, which is called Polycrypt. Uh, there are some people who already made some press releases saying that they are using the Web Crypto API. For example, Netflix uh, is using it in combination with encrypted media extensions. Uh, and there are some product announcements from Mozilla and Google. OK, so now I'm removing my hat from a Web Crypto uh, Working Group Chair. And I'm working for Gemanto. We are uh, selling some hardware token, as I said, so SIM card, micro SD, embedded secure element in your mobile, you know, this kind of stuff, or, or identity card that you could plug into your PC, if it still exists. So anyway, so we are managing keys every day in those kind of hardware elements. And okay, a complex key is super cool uh, when you can have it with a web crypto API, but what is more of interest for Gemato is also to have that key stored in a hardware uh, or a secure element. So uh, this is what also we are working on in the SysApp working group of W3C in order to let a web app accessing the secure element if any uh, associated with the browser. Okay, you can ask questions and if you want to keep in touch, 